love and blessings my beautiful people it is star mystic and i am back with you thank you so much to everyone that's already subscribed to the channel yay please be sure to do so if you haven't done so already check out the description box below it has my other social media platforms and all that good stuff all that good stuff hi beautiful people welcome welcome back i haven't done a video like this in a while so as you see uh we got the follow santo lit and we got some tarot decks out and we are going to be doing an unboxing today yes new deck alert new deck alert really excited so let's go all right so these uh these decks i already purchased a while ago i've had them for quite some time and the reason that I have them out is because uh, the new deck is uh, from the same uh, person, Kim Kranz, uh, created these decks. Um, and as you see, this is the box to the animal spirit deck that I use uh, a lot. I've, I started using this a lot. And these are just some of my favorite decks. And we're here to talk about why. Let's get into it. All right so there are a few things that go into making an amazing tarot deck all right and these are just a few of them so for me the first thing is the presentation is the actual box i'm a sucker for some great packaging y'all i love great packaging and as you see kim kranz has a look a very um ethereal uh magical mystical um kind of dark in the sense of mysticism and esoterics um as well as just um out there i love it it's a very universal energy right so we've got three decks here we've got the animal spirit the wild unknown archetypes and the wild unknown tarot so the animal spirit this packaging i mean come on i love the sleeve um and also uh they are very well made all right i've had these for quite a few years um and they really stood up the test of time um i pretty much keep this one in the box since it's so big um so i love the sleeve i love the metallic i love the, the dragon's eye the detail um, so this is the inside of the box. It says, may you always be on your inner quest. And it actually has like a, a separate smaller box that you can carry uh, the your tarot deck protected without lugging around the whole box. So packaging. So first thing for a awesome, amazing tarot or oracle deck is packaging. Love it. Okay. Um, so the next thing that makes an amazing, um, it's an amazing quality for a tarot or oracle deck for me is the guidebook. The gu I love a deep in depth guidebook touching on not only the meaning of the cards because yes it's important to know the meaning of the cards as they were created with the intention that they were created with but you know of course you're also going to be using your own intuition with um interpreting the cards but i just i love books i love to read so an amazing guidebook is, is number two and and it's a strong number two so yeah i just love how this artist and spiritualist creator um writer i love all of the messages and i also love how they incorporate um and the elements for each um animal spirit earth air fire water and spirit right and um we have the messages uh when the energy is in balance when it's out of balance and some tips on how to realign the energy love it love it love it love it because it's one of those things where you can read the book and get a lot of benefit and insights without even using the cards so that's amazing so yes we're gonna go through all this we're saving the best for last the new deck we're saving the best for last y'all all right and so um the other thing that i love about 
an amazing tarot oracle deck kind of goes along with the packaging too but also um the uniqueness so this is the wild unknown archetypes all right uh also this has an amazing guidebook i absolutely love this guidebook i didn't um didn't feel like looking for it right now but this i i really learn a lot from the insights from this um deck really love it so i so we've got the shaman at the bottom of the deck i absolutely adore the shape of these cards okay it's very unique um i love the images the the thought the creativity the channeling of the energy that goes into each unique image you can break down the colors uh the shapes right you see a planet you see a moon you see a hand um right the offering is so many ways you can break down and interpret each card each um archetype energy excuse me so unique shaping the backs and um i really love um yeah again with the imaging on this and it's actually not too difficult to shuffle even you know being um circles <laughs> um so yeah I love really cute and each deck comes with its own individual case aside from the large um box so i enjoy that also so if you want to just like grab your deck and go you know you want to go sit outside do some grounding do a reading or just take it with you to travel you can do so safely and protected you don't have to get anything else to protect your deck um and yeah but let's let me just show you this uh the wild unknown and each comes with a really cool sleeve right each deck just comes with a really amazing amazing packaging and i love the thought sorry this one is a slide out too i love the thought that goes into each um <laughs> into each deck so this is this one i'm sorry it has like a magnetic class took me a minute lord um accept all reject none okay and yeah so it fits perfectly see that and then you have space for your book as well and that's that right so we've got packaging a great guidebook unique imaging um and style of the card let's say all right so now let's talk about the wild unknown tarot deck because uh so these are basically considered oracles right the animal spirit and the archetypes but this is an actual tarot deck um you know has images uh based off the traditional right away smith deck but what i love about this again we came through with the packaging uh may you always be on your inner quest right got the packaging got a really cool guidebook all right now the other thing so we said we're at three right yeah four cardstock so this is the wild unknown tarot oh look we got the world and that's what we have on the front the world love it cardstock so so e oh ace of pentacles so easy to shuffle you know each card stock each deck has its own flow i really hope that everything's going to be in frame here but um yeah i love the card stock i love the way this deck feels in my hands i love the way that it shuffles we have the chariot at the bottom of the deck um i love the images and i enjoy the theme there's an overall theme through each deck that is very similar you can tell it's by the same creator it's by the same artist you know um the animals i love how they incorporate the animals um colors right the imaging um even though it's very dark <laughs> his death um 
lots of blacks and grays but um it does have pops of reds golds um i love the scale here the scales on the ace of cups got some rainbows right i i just love the symbolism that's the word i was looking for the symbolism with the animals and the objects right the two of cups the roses see see the the pop on that red of the flower really stands out right four of pentacles mother of wands which is the queen i also like how they kind of change the titles the mother representing the queen the father representing the king um the daughter representing the page i believe and the son representing the knight um lots of animals in this deck i uh, really love it the empress and the emperor are represented by trees you know just very much a connection to nature the universe now now drum roll please oh, that's so whack drum roll please let me light up some palo santo yes i do have some more yes i'm on a little piece but we waste not we want not we use every single bit of the herbs of the blessed holy woods we use every bit that the mother earth that mother earth has blessed us with so let's get in to this the front would be helpful yes the wild unknown alchemy deck and guide book another kim kranz edition i love the astrology symbols on the front i love the infinity the snake here again with the packaging i'm really feeling the blue i have not opened this at all yet y'all i'm totally we're doing this together i saved it for you i'm saving all my love for you so excited so from lead to gold the secret sealed patience more will be revealed Ooh, giving me witchy vibes i'm corny like that i'm sorry okay so whew. feeling the energy already y'all yes mm, come on come on with it yes i i mm -hmm love it here's the book so this is similar uh shape size and width of the archetypes guidebook let's do a flip through so crispy all right similar um, uh, images as well oh wow look at the contents that's a lot it's very in-depth when the student is ready the teacher disappears the story of my alchemical you know y'all know i'm a little so beginnings i love it background of the artist the creator the amazing individual i'm sorry i saw what just stood out my parents are getting a divorce i a divorce i said i sat in stillness as i cried yep you know it's those life changes that really push us to our greatest self so i love it so she touches on um some books to read some fellow practitioners so they suggest a lot of and this is the reason i'm sorry if i'm talking too much and too fast and all over the place but this is the reason why i really enjoy this series this this collection is uh because of the psychological background uh you know of psychology um using you know um speaking of the archetypes right the overall archetypes of the universe of our of humanity of our minds right of our spirit so uh she suggests psychology and alchemy by carl carl young cosmos and psyche by richard tarnas alchemy and psychology by james hillman voices of our ancestors i'm all about that i don't want to mess up the name can y'all see that right there well you know what let me just show you the whole list you can pause it screenshot it if you're interested for yourself hope that was enough i'm all about reading learning so oh i'm loving it 
we've got a we've got a glossary we've got an index let me get closer <laughs> of alchemical i'm sorry i need to go back to school terms I love it. The physical, the mystical, alchemy. We're breaking down the words. And this is in life when we come to when it comes to learning and build, we got to break it down. Okay, so I'm enjoying this. Oh, we talk about colors. Yes. Colors, cosmic forces, seasons, materials. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm like a forever student, so when it comes to learning, oh yeah, you're speaking my jazz, you're speaking my, you're speaking my lingo, baby. Yeah, I love it. Break it down. Science, 101, biology, let's go. Chemistry, psychology, who's down? The sun, let's get into the cards. Enough of that. I'm excited. First of all, I'm loving the blue. I'm loving the blue. This is so fuego. I love the shape. Hello. Thank you. Yes, color scheme. Come through. Love it. This is a wonderful addition to the collection, y'all. Yes. Kim Crans come through, baby. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Is that okay? No, I just messed it up. Okay, so let's put this to the side. All right, got our crystal out. <sighs> I'm loving it. We got the cosmos on the inside. Let's. Oh, is that? Look at the back. Oh, oh the shapes. Oh, oh. So beautiful. Let's put some selenite on it. The very first thing I do. Put some selenite on it. We already played some sounds. We already lit some Palo Santo. And I'm going to get some more Palo Santo. And I'm going to do this right here. The energy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And now we're going to light it. We're going to let some smoke go into the deck. Okay. Play a little... Yes, I do this for each deck that I get in any said order i love you guys thank you so much for watching as you can see i was super excited to get into it thank you guys for being here you know i love y'all this is so fun i miss doing these videos i think the next time i go to the botanica i'm going to do a haul hey it'll be great if i could get some footage too but we're not gonna make any promises um and there are a few more um decks that i want to review so I'm definitely going to be working on filming that in the future very soon. Very soon. Okay. So got selenite. I just simply go like this with the smoke go over the cards. Now the first thing I do, I'll start shuffling. I know some people keep their cards in order and they like to go by one by one. I, once I cleanse it, I like to bust it down, break it down, baby. Put my ashe up in there. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we've got blood, right? And so, okay, this is another language. Is it Latin? Luna, the sun, the moon. See, it's time to shuffle, baby. I'm going to show you the first few cards out. I'm assuming that it's in order because number one, we have the sun. Okay, crispy. Next, we have Luna. Yes. Mercury. Venus. Love the colors. I love it. Excuse me. That was two cards. Airy, oh, Mars. Mm -hmm. Jupiter. I, you know what I love? I love about, I love that we're getting some visuals and some imagery behind the cosmic, the planetary influences. I love that. This is Saturn. I love that. Your anus, yes, yes. 
Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Totally Uranus energy. Mm hmm. Neptune. Oh, yeah. Yup. Mm hmm. Pluto. Come through, Pluto. Scorpionic energy. Death. Rebirth. See those skulls? Mm hmm. Chiron. The healer. Mm hmm. Darkening. All right. Crow energy. Lightning. Coil Kundalini energy. Yellowing. Interesting colors. Okay. Reddening. And we got some seasons. We got winter. We got spring. Oops. Sorry. Spring. Summer. Autumn. So I'm enjoying this. You know why? Because this just adds so much depth to a reading. To, yeah, it, it just adds so much depth. Look, I cut it on blood again. And I feel like, oh God, I feel like, oh, this is weird to shuffle. This is weird because it's pointy. You got to kind of flip it around a few times. Ro Rotation. I'm done. <laughs> Virgin's milk. We gotta look that one up. Okay. But, okay, so. If you're like, oh my God, all you say is good things. Well, the weird thing I'm not gonna say is bad is the shape. So these, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six sides. Um, it feels weird when I'm shuffling because I'm a, a what you call that, you know, hand over hand and, and then I bridge. It's just what I do. Not everyone does, but that's what I do. The great work, um, you know, so the shape kind of as the card turns, it feels a little weird, but I'm sure, you know, you get into it. I'm loving the depth. Look at the backs. These are gorgeous cards. 22, 22. So I'm about to wrap it up. So I would say if we want to talk about the cost, on average, these decks are anywhere between like if you're if you find some on sale, it's like $26 to about $35. Um, dollars. And that's probably mid price range point. Um, but for this uh, quality packaging, um, quality card stock, and book, it is a good deal. That is a fair price point. So I'm very happy with the new deck. We are going to get ourselves acquainted. Um, maybe I can do, I'll, I'll do a reading. Um, not today with this deck, but definitely this week. Definitely this week. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new deck, the edition. Let me know if you're looking forward to seeing it in a reading. Let me know your thoughts about the deck or any decks that you may own and enjoy. So thank you again for watching. Please be sure to like the video. It really helps me out. Comment if you do feel so inclined and subscribe. I love y'all for life. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.